Okay, we'll come to our lesson today. So we will be tapping this unit on uh, on our home sharing and our main uh, course that is at Kadri here. And uh, we want to handle specifically the common numbers. And we have a few objectives to achieve by the end of the lesson which is how to, to achieve. So and finally we understand how the common numbers works. So uh, I want I would like one of you to um, basically uh, what is the combined number stuff? So, um, Ronald Sang, can you kindly define for us what you understand by a combine harvester? So, a combine harvester is a machine that is used for harvesting grains and it combines a number of operations that is cut, uh, cutting or harvesting, threshing, and uh, storage of the grains. Yeah, that is a very good definition. So basically, those are the major operations we have being performed by a combine harvester. And we have a picture of a combine harvester you can see over there. I have a John Deere. And what is the second one? Which model class. is that? It's a class model. And uh, that's how a combine harvester looks like. So I want us to identify uh, the major parts that we have in a combine harvester. And uh, part one, two, three, and four. Uh, Janet, can you tell us uh, part one, two, three, and four so that we know if we are together? Um, part one is the cutter. Yes. The, the, the reel. Yeah, part one is the reel, yes. Then there is the cutter. Yes. There is the header. And the uh, reel is Okay, that is very good. So, um, Collins Mushil. Yes, sir. Uh, can you see part six? Yes. Yeah. And uh, what is uh, the name of part six? Part six is the threshing drum. Yeah, the threshing drum. That is very good. Dennis Kilungu, uh, tell us uh, part 10. What is uh, the name of part 10? Part 10 is the fun. But 10 is the fun. That is very good. So those are the major parts that we have there. Uh, we can see from part one all the way to part number 21. We have all of them named over there. We have gone through most the major parts. But uh, we're going to look at them in details in the next slides. So I want us to go into details. I want to look at the header section, which is the front part. But I'll ask someone, someone of you to, some of you to identify the parts that you can see in that picture we have in that slide. Which parts can you identify? Julius? You can see the really times. Yes. Who else can see a familiar part? There is also the Kataba. Kataba, that is very good. There is also the Oga. The Oga. And also to see the knives. Yeah, that is very good. The I, want divider. You, I want you to look at uh, those parts. We can, we can see the Kataba where it is located. We have the reel, just like uh, Julius uh, mentioned. We have now the spring time which are attached to the reel that help the crop to be moved towards the 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 the, the, the kataba. Then we have um, the hoga, which is the other hoga, the header hoga. And uh, now I want to uh, I want you to display an image so that you can see how these operations uh, takes place. That basically how the header section functions with all, all, all the parts that are incorporated over there. So next, I want us to look at the conveyor. So we can see how a conveyor looks like. Uh, which part can you identify in the conveyor? Can you see any familiar part? 
Ronald Sang. The rollers. The rollers. You can see the rollers. And basically, you can see how the grain is being moved from the header section all the way to the drashing drum. Is it right? Yeah, that is very good. So we can also look at the next part, uh, which we have uh, the threshing drum, and this, uh, that is the threshing operation in the separation unit. So this is basically what happens in the threshing drum. We have a high speed rotating drum that will now thresh the grain that is being delivered to the cone cave, and then it will eject the materials that is uh, the chaff that uh, uh, remains and then the grain falls through the concave all the way to the grain farm. And on the second part, you can see how separation takes place. We can see uh, the straw workers trying to, you know, uh, remove the unwanted uh, straws out of the combine harvester. And uh, that's the basic cooperation that takes place. The three major operations that is we have the cutting in the header section, the threshing that takes place in the threshing drum and separation that takes place from the straw workers all the way down, down to where we have the seeds and the farm. So I want us to do a brief review of what we have learned, and I want us to identify some, some of the parts you can see in this machine over here. And um, I'll give a chance to some of you. Uh, Julius, yes. can you kindly identify part A, B, and C for us? But the uh, B is the real, but uh, C is the roller sector, and part A is the cut up. Yeah, it's a nice try, and uh, that is very good. Where you have part C, it's uh, what we call um, the conveyor, basically, that is the conveyor. So, Dennis Kilungu, which part can you identify among the remaining parts? Yes, I can identify the, the threshing drum, yes. part D, the concave uh, part F. Can someone identify part K, Isabella? That is very good. That's where we have the fun, yeah? So I can see we are moving on well. So I want us to have a brief, uh, a brief video showing, uh, showing, um, uh, how the operation of the working principle of a combine harvester. Um, since we have some challenges with that video, but uh, basically the video is just a summary of uh, whatever we have done. Actually, it's just an animation to show you the operations, all in one operations of what is taking place in those individual sections. But uh, Due to the little inconvenience we have, we can basically go with the knowledge and the small animations that we have used. They are sufficient enough. And we can also share the video with you so that you can go through it at your own time. And I have an assignment for you. So if we have any questions, we can have them being raised from different uh, individuals. So do you have any questions? Yes. Okay. okay. The mode of submitting the assignment, you're going to submit the assignment on LMS. Just log in to your LMS. You're going to find uh, the, 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 the assignment part. And uh, that's how you're going to submit your assignment. That is very good. Any other question? <coughs> So if you have no further questions, take note of the assignment that we have. And uh, we are going now to end our lesson from now. You have a great afternoon. Bye. 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 Bye.
So you're gonna stop. You're gonna save what?